So I made this thing and I don't know what to call it. So I figure we'll start with the why and how and figure out what to call it later. The property that I bought has a small mountain on it covered with rocks. This is great because now I have free material for all sorts of projects like rock walls, fire pits, or maybe even a small castle. But getting all the rocks into one place is the challenge. The terrain is way too rough for a wheelbarrow and I don't really want to be driving a tractor or an ATV all over the place and leaving all sorts of track marks. So I took some inspiration inspiration from a trap bar used for deadlifting and one of my favorite exercises for functional strength which is called a farmer's walk and made this rock carrying device that'll help me move the stones around my property and get a pretty good workout at the same time. So here's how I made it. I'm going to use one inch square tube with walls of about one eighth of an inch thick to make the frame. I'm going to start by cutting all the cross support. I lined up four pieces, clamped them together, and then made cuts with my angle grinder. I just cut through the walls on one side, flipped all the pieces to the next side, and kept going until I was cutting all the way through. I then had to decide how long I wanted the frame to be. If I was going to be carrying firewood or something that wasn't very dense, I probably would have made it a lot longer. But since I'm focusing on bags of concrete and rocks, I kept it just about five and a half feet long. After cutting all the square tube, I switched to an angle grinder with a flat disc and cleaned up all the ends to get them ready for welding. And speaking of Stone Age ideas brought to you by Modern Technology, let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor for this week's video. Viking War of Clans was inspired by the top PC and RPG games of the 90s. You know, when I was in high school. Join the more than 20 million online players that are constantly changing the way the game evolves by never-ending fighting over resources, forging alliances, and competing in live events. Support my channel by downloading Vikings for free only from my links in the description box below and get the special bonus of 20 gold coins and a protection shield. So come for the boats and castles and stay well because video games are addicting. Alright, back to the build. In a previous video I showed how I took a simple square and cut slots in it to make a right angle clamp for welding. With the pieces firmly locked at 90 degrees, I then welded the connections with my Forney welder set to MIG. This is a 3-in-1 welder. In addition to MIG welding, it can also do stick and TIG welding. Now I know metal working is not the most common type of making for beginners, but it's actually pretty easy to get into. And for this project, I only needed two power tools the angle grinder and the welder. Now this steel had been sitting around in the yard for a bit and one of the long pieces was just a little bit bent. So I used my Maker Brand T-bar clamp to force it into position and then tacked in the welds for the last corner. I flipped the frame over to the other side and reinforced all the welds. My cross pieces were cut to 26 inches, the long pieces were 66 inches, and I left 25 inches of space in the middle. But you could make this really any size so that it fits you perfectly. I switched to a wire brush attachment on my angle grinder and cleaned the frame thoroughly. This lets me check to make sure that my welds are nice and solid and it gets the metal nice and clean for the next steps. To make the handles, I'm going to start with some 2 inch steel angles and I'm just going to cut 4 pieces 8 inches long. I switch back to the angle grinder with a flap disc and clean these up to get them ready for welding. For the handles themselves, I'm going to use 9 inch long pieces of 1 inch diameter steel pipe. I used a magnet clamp to hold them in place and then welded the pipes to the pieces of steel angles. I clamped the handle pieces to the steel frame and then welded them all together. And because I plan on really putting this thing to the test, I made sure to flip it over and weld from the back side as well. Still not at a pro level yet, but I'm getting better every time. I picked up some steel mesh from the scrap bin at my local steel yard and cut two pieces of it with my angle grinder. I brushed off the grease and rust with a special attention to the edges which I'll be welding. I placed them on the underside of the frame and started to weld the mesh to the frame. Now this was a little bit tricky because you have to be careful not to burn right through the steel mesh which is only about an eighth of an inch thick. 
Now I didn't continuously weld all the way around, but I'm sure I overdid it even as it is. Now I don't want to bump into anyone and gash up their legs, so I made sure to round over all the edges with a flap disc. I put on my RZ mask, which is by far the most comfortable breathing protection device I've ever used, and started the painting process with some Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. After letting the primer cure for two days, I then painted the entire thing with two coats of Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel in a nice teal. The first test was two 80-pound bags of Quickcrete. It's about 200 yards uphill, and I'm not gonna lie, if the camera wasn't on me, I probably would've stopped more and rested. I got some stone projects planned, but for now I'm just in gathering mode. So I spend an hour about four or five times a week collecting rocks and getting in a pretty good workout. I thought about making some detachable sides so that you could carry bigger piles of loose rock, but I wanted to keep the weight down. As it is, this whole device weighs just under 30 pounds. And with the mesh, you can always use bungee cords to hold something down to it. So the only question now is what to call it. I got some good initial suggestions on my Instagram channel, which I hope you're all following, but let me know your ideas in the description box below. Check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks, bye.